What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome to Toppy's Workshop. This game is made by Hawk Sandwich, the same guy who brought us SpongeBob's Day of Terror and Spacky's Night Shift. So, this game's gonna be weird. I also don't know anything about this game, other than that I paid $3 to play it, so hopefully it's a little good. So if you're excited to see what this game even is, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, and go follow me on Twitch. Patrick, what do you think this game is about? Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all. Okay, move mouse to look around. Timer will start when you leave the area. Oh, left shift to run, space to jump. Okay, nice little tutorial. Interact with objects and buttons. So, okay. Oh, I got a plane. What can I do with the plane? Throw the plane. Do I throw it at the enemy? Do we have just random heads? How do, how do we go? What, what do we do? Oh. Ah, I'm using my brain. Throw toys at workers to kill them. Is that a worker? Who? Oh! The hell are you? Look like a demonic baby. Why? What kind of workshop is this? No, death to you. No, no, no. Not having any of that. What is this game? This is a weird game. The hell are you? Now fall over weirdly. Okay. Uh, what is our objective? Wait, it says zero out of forty in the bottom left-hand corner. Death to you. Um, so zero out of forty. What? What are we doing? Throw toys in the fire. These toys? Wait. Like the planes? Oh, that worked. Okay. I see a lot of enemies over there. So this is a game where I throw a bunch of toys into the fire. Why? Is there a story behind this? Maybe I should have read the description of the game. I, I was just like, I just saw the game and I was like, this looks weird. I'm going to play it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I jumped into the fire. That definitely was not what I was supposed to do. All right. Note to self, do not jump into the fire. I see toys on the other side. I just don't know how to get over there to start destroying some villains. I could not jump up these boxes. Or at least it doesn't seem like it. Oh, God! You scared me. Oh, I missed. Wait. What? The workers are missing their souls? This is a weird area. Like, now I'm really curious what the lore is because I'm definitely missing something. Oh, okay. Oh, and this is the other side. There we go. Now we're on the other side. I don't think the enemies respawn. So, I mean, if I just kill all the enemies first and then throw everything into the fire, I'm all set. Take some paper airplane, you scum. Boom. Is that all the enemies? Is that everyone? No, it's not. Oh, my God. Hello? Why are there 40 toys? I don't even think there are <laughs> there are 40 enemies. It's interesting how this is a speed runnable game. I I see what direction the dev went for this, but I I I genuinely do not know what to think about this game. I really don't cuz I kind of like it. I also kind of don't like it. I I think I'm just creeped out. I think that's the point I'm trying to make. Uh-oh, there's more enemies. How do I get over there? I pick you up. It would have been better if this uh, place did not only make paper airplanes. No, I know I saw an enemy. Oh, wait. This is back where I was. Did I miss something? This is the weirdest game ever. Is this a note? Maybe the workers were just children. Maybe they're demonic zombies. I mean, I think that's a little more accurate. Uh-oh. Oh. Why is everything burning? Why, 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 uh... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Did the paper airplane... cause a fire? 
I'm very confused. So maybe if we destroy enough paper airplanes, a new path will open? Oh, here's a page or something. What are the chains for? Uh, well, apparently holding down the demonic children workers. I I mean, that seems reasonable to me. Am I, am I toppy? Who am I? I have no feet or body, so that's awesome. I think I missed a note over here. There's something wrong here. Okay, I don't know how, but the path is now open. I think that I did destroy enough paper airplanes to just move on. Oh, and we can even go higher. Okay, have we destroyed all the enemies? Oh, look, there's a note. Hold up. This place is terrifying! It's really more creepy and weird than terrifying. This is a jump scareless horror game. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm... Uh, it's more like I'm... I'm weirdly creeped out more than scary creeped out. I don't know if that makes sense. Any enemies up here? No, yes. Ah! Jesus, God, all right. Yep, yeah, there, yep. Yep, yeah, bad guys. Oh my God, okay, that actually scared me. That scared me. Oh, I see an enemy over there. I see only one enemy, so let's see if we can, let's see if I can aim correctly, here we go. Whoop! Got him! Oh, is this supposed to be an area that I'm not supposed to uh, be able to access yet? Ah, okay, hold on. Let's destroy more paper airplanes. Well, they're not really paper. They're made of wood, but whatever. All right, with 25 wooden airplanes destroyed, I can move on. And this is really nice because everything is perfectly close to the fire. And I actually haven't looked around this area very well. Ah, so that's the next area that I get to go to. Will the path open up with 30? Yes, it will. So destroy this mound of dirt. Thank you. Yeah, there's more enemies. There's a lot of enemies. Okay, I need, I need to backtrack. I need, I need some ammo. There we go. All right. This is gonna be a little challenging because it looks like all the enemies are grouped up very close together. And I don't wanna die because I am, well, 12 minutes into the game now. So let's see if, oh, there's one right there. Okay, great, we're fine. We got plenty of ammo up here to work with. I was a little worried about that. This actually should be the last area, right? I mean, this looks like most of the rest of all the stuff I have to destroy for whatever reason. To free the souls of the children? I, what's the story here? Here's a note though. Damn, this place is falling apart. Ain't that the truth? Oh, oh, there we go. Wait, there's one more area. Oh, I see one more plane up there. One, two, three, four, five. Let me actually grab that one up there just in case the game wants to throw a random enemy at me. Oh, there's a lot more planes. Wait, there's more planes than even necessary. All right, whatever, hold up. Look, just let me destroy the rest here. I can throw them all from here. I'm just that good, and that's 40. So now I can go even further and up. Whoa, whoa, Toppy, what are you doing? I'm very confused at what is going on. Oh, I see an enemy over there. All right, whatever. Let me just go up. Very confused. Up we go. I'm ready. The hell is up here? We have a bit of an ambiance change. Come on, Toppy. Oh. Oh. Is everything burning? Whoa, whoa. Toppy, no. T take that. Okay, that didn't do anything. Well, that was Toppy's Workshop, a very interesting yet weird game that I beat in 15 minutes. So I get what the dev is trying to do. He made a game that is meant to be sped run to get the best time possible. Um, I thought the gameplay was interesting. I liked the idea that 
Um, the item that we have to use to destroy the enemy is also the item that we need to get rid of and destroy. I was very confused about the lore, but maybe that's my own fault because I didn't read the description of the game. Um, I, I just, I feel confused. Was this game worth $3? Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the end cards at the end of this video. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.